everybody. I have a haul because guess what finally came in the mail? Package from Frank Garcia. I ordered it uh, a little bit before Mother's Day. So in May and it just arrived last week. Yes, when I was in California, a good friend of mine picked it up, put it in my house so the goodies wouldn't get all, I don't know whatever the heat does to paper goods. I know I ordered some beef and Maggie Holmes. Um, I don't even remember what the collection looked like all that much at, by this point. So if I ordered this in May, I really must have looked at them in late April. So I really don't remember. Fun, fun, fun. I wish that Frank Garcia studio was close to where we were in California, but I think he's more in Southern California and we were more in the northern part. So yay! Let us move the paper and let's get out all the, the sketchbook. I did not buy her her first collection. This is her second one, I think. So all right, so pretty. I love that they are a good size. And <laughs> usually they'll be like this big, something like that flower there. Got some border strips. And I think this is matte. This is not glossy. So no shine to them is what I mean. And then these enamel dots, these colors. Uh, I just This like is the ephemera. I don't remember how many packs there were. I just picked up a few things that I know I'm going to use. And not to just have to get the whole collection. You know what I mean? Because I used to be that person that had to get the whole thing and just kind of experiment with all the products but now that i've been scrapbooking for a while i know what i will use and what i don't really grab for and so now when collections come out i just stick to those things i buy these i end up leaving them at every every house we rent including like an outdoor mat <laughs> Uh, lemon tree, oops, hearts, some more leaves there, and a heart, butterfly, this is... This came out, like like I said, in spring, so if you've already seen this, this is not going to be all that interesting to you. <laughs> it always happens that I am filming towards the end days of my manicure. <laughs> this is fun, so... You could leave as is, right? Because it is foiled. Or you could poke the holes and stitch it. This flower I'll stitch. Baby. Okay, what is this? You can play and 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 giving Maggie home vibes. I do see that, but overall, I think it is a pretty collection. Yeah. Some garden pieces. They're not super, super thick, which is fine. <laughs> that matters to you. Birdies, cute. Lots of um, watering cans, pails, what do you call this? So they're both just called ephemera, and I'm assuming that's the floral pack, and then this is the tags and the phrases one. I don't mind mixing them all. And I'll put it in a big box like this. Mm, let's see what else we got. Um, what did I drop? Little banner. I like all the vellum. I guess I should have gotten like a white background to show all this stuff. Look at this! Pretty! Pretty! Oh, yeah, this is pretty. Now, I think this is a misprint. Take it back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but this piece came out okay. No, well, no, it didn't. This is cute. Really cute. What is this? This, this actually looks like a cassette. Okay. Tickets, tear parts. Ooh, that's a little tiny. Page five. That's what it's supposed to look like. That little piece. There's a rose. A globe. This is pretty. More tickets. Who said they didn't like tickets? I know someone else. They're like, man, they already kept some tickets. Or the stamps. Someone said it. I was like, what? <laughs> That's cute. Love, love, love. <laughs> we get a lot of birds over here. 
Okay, and that's the ephemera pack. Then the puffies. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, there's only one. Obviously, I do a little pocket pages, so I did not go for the 12 by 12. Instead, I went for the 6 by 8. Also, with the prices and everything, I'm starting to narrow down my choices. Like 15 bucks for a sticker book, you know? That's, that's a lot. To me, now, I have to like 90% of this collection. Whereas before, it was like, it's okay, 75%, 25% I don't. Anybody else thinking that way right now with how prices are? Because scrapbooking already is expensive to me, even when I started way back then. And when I came back to it in 2012, even then, I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I can't imagine someone who's starting it now, what they think about buying a sticker book for $15. And that's just one thing out of all the items in the collection. Anyway, pretty colors, very American crafts. I like this. <laughs> and that is what I got from Sketchbook. Then Maggie Holmes for a field. So this is folly to me, um, which is fine because in about a month we'll be going into that. So I didn't pick up again a lot of things from that. So this is what I picked up. I love this. I like the font. I like how small it is. I like the phrase. I really like Maggie Holmes phrases. Look at that bow. Super nice. The browns, I, I'm, I'm loving this. And then you saw a little bit of these puppies. Like this is different. These shades are different, you know? I don't think she's had shades like that before where they're in enamel knots. Maybe like in her papers, but to actually have it as part of an embellishment, I don't think she's done that before. I have the puffy phrases. I don't know if she has any thickers, like with foam. I think they're puffies. Strawberries are a dark, but then she's got this lighter pink. The black's like dusty. It's not like a, a stark black. Oh, I love that thing. Oh my Lord. Oh, this is pretty to me. I'm loving this so far. Yeah. You know, then I think about it. I probably shouldn't have gotten this if I got the papery pack. Okay. Oh, there's a camera, vintage camera. Okay. okay, yeah, this is what I mean. Look how deep that strawberry is. That's different. Okay, walk with me. These plants. Mushrooms. Mushrooms are a thing right now. They have been for a while. This cute, cute little fox with her lashes. Very pretty. What is this? Is this a pheasant? And a bunny with a bow. And another strawberry that's in there. Let's see here. Some gold foiling. I need to do this with my girls. It's not done much like when we were kids because projectors are no longer being used, but I need to figure out a way to do it because I have one and I don't know where it is. I wonder if my dad has it. Of when I was like six, I think. I would like to do that of my girls. This bug. <laughs> I don't like the bugs. <laughs> uh, oh, my girl's in full sing mode right now. Okay. More florals. Oh, is this the floral pack? Maybe that's why I got it. Butterflies. 
More mushrooms. I didn't I didn't realize all the mushrooms. There was actually a lot of mushrooms in our rental home in Texas, believe it or not. They would like even grow on the garage. Let's do this. The Forever Fields 36 sheets. Okay. Details of the day. I'm loving these colors. This color palette's nice. Look at that. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Green dot. <gasps> Love that. That could be framed. Map. Very pretty. Then it repeats. Okay, you know what? I'm going to leave this for last so that way. If you don't want to see it, you could end the video there. But let's see the papers that I picked up. Here I have Forever Fields Silver Linings. I liked it because it looks like a painting and I'm really loving that. Yeah, I like this. This reminds me of Jen Hanfield. I like this butterfly. I could see me fussy cutting it. Yep, oh, so I did. I got the 12 by 12. Yeah, that's very pretty to me. You could frame this and hang it in your living room. The chipboard, but it's not chipboard anymore. It's foam, pretty. I'm totally loving this collection and I could see it mixing with her other ones, especially Heritage. I could see it mixing with Marigold. I could see it mixing with Market Square. Very quickly before I get into the papery pack, I did pick up the acetate from Paige Evans because it's gorgeous and since I use pocket pages I like to buy acetate like this cut it up in whatever size I need like a 4 by 6 or a 3 by 4 and uh, put it in that clear and I just like that peekaboo effect okay that's the only thing I got from her adventurous collection now from here on out thank you for watching now I'm gonna open the papery pack there's over 200 pieces <laughs> so if you got this you've already seen it I'll see you in my next one let's where do the big pieces okay and there's always doubles I think yeah Visiting those scrapbook stores, they didn't have a lot of Maggie Holmes, which is surprising to me because I did see like a lot of Ford Ninth and Market, uh, Bow Bunny, lots of Echo Park, lots of simple stories, but I didn't see any Maggie Holmes, which is surprising to me because this stuff, this kind of like artsy, vintagey feels are in collections like Bow Bunny and 49th and Markets, but Maggie Holmes has a bit of a bit of that and a bit of modern. And I think that older scrapbook stores should venture out with Maggie Holmes. It's safe, I think. There's just so much more out there and you could broaden your clientele. And I think Maggie Holmes is a safe designer to start with, to see if it works. See if people will buy it at your shop. I'm just saying from a customer because I went to two of them and one was super fun and was very surprised that they didn't have Maggie Holmes. Because they were very, very fun. Easy to talk to girls. Anyway, that's just Maggie Holmes. Oh, this takes me back. I was waiting in line with my mom for who knows what, and she always had to take a number. And I thought that was so fun, and yes, I would tear more numbers. <laughs> and she'd tell me to stop. These are stickers, yes. Oh, now they tell you it's a sticker and just like be there for minutes and then realize, oh, that's not a sticker. <laughs> Pretty. Every time I see that phrase, I think of Selena, you know, cause I'm dreaming 
of you tonight for tomorrow. I love that green. And that is what I got from Frank Garcia. So glad it's finally here. Let me know if you picked this up too. And I'll see you in my next video.